Trees have a lot of nice properties about them, but a lot of the really good properties, such as minimum path lengths from the root to any leaf, only exist if the tree is balanced. In this video, we're going to talk about two techniques for balancing trees. We're not going to go too much in depth here. We'll do a demonstration of a right rotation and then a left rotation, just to give you an idea of how we can take a tree that's not balanced and modify it so that it is back into balance. So let's assume we have this tree right here. As you can see, its left subtree is longer than the right subtree. So what we would want to do is rotate it to the right. So notice this is the same tree. Now we've rotated it to the right. This left subchild is going to become the root. The old root will become the new root's right child, which leaves us with the old right child. And what we'll need to do is make that right child the left child of the old root. So here we showed it with an actual rotation. Let's walk through this procedure. So we start off with this tree, and I've color coded three parts of the tree. The first is the original root and its right subtree, the right subtree of the root's left child, and then the left child and its left subtree. So we're going to conceptually split the tree into those three pieces and then put them back together so that they're balanced. And again, we're not actually doing a rotation, we're just rearranging the tree so that we get the result of the rotation like we saw previously. So as a reminder, nine is the old root and four is gonna be our new root once we've rotated the tree. So I'm going to bring four up to the top since it's gonna be the new root. Then the new root's right child is going to be the old root, which as you'll remember is still attached to its right subtree. Then we have seven, which, as you'll remember, was the new root's old right subtree, and we make that the left subtree of the old root. So you may wonder, how can we do that? Well, think about what being the right subtree here means. Everything in the left subtree of the root is less than the root. So everything in 9's left subtree has to be less than 9. Well, 7 is less than 9. Everything in the right subtree of 4 has to be greater than 4. So everything in the right subtree of 4 greater than has to be between 4 and 9. Well, everything that's in the right subtree of 9 has to be greater than 4 to be in 4's right subtree and less than 9 so that it's in 9's left subtree. So once we've done with the rotation, we have a nice balanced tree. So another kind of rotation is a left rotation. And the concept there is very similar. And since you've already seen the right rotation, and this is similar just in the opposite direction, we'll use some pseudocode to walk through what's going on at each step. The three nodes we're going to be concerned with are the old root and its right subtree, the new root and its left subtree. We'll call that old left. So just as we did before, we're going to break apart the tree into those three pieces. Again, we have a reference to the new root, the old root, and the old left. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set new roots left subtree to be the old root. So that gives us this. Now the old root is the left subtree of the new root. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the right subtree of the old root to the old left subtree of the new root, which is seven here. And so you can see what happens there. Now, once we've done this, our tree is balanced and there's no more work to be done. So there's still a lot more that goes into balanced trees. First off, we need to determine that we need to do a rotation. But the key is, is if you keep the tree balanced, then it's easier to keep it balanced. Whereas if you add a bunch of stuff and then try to balance it, it's a lot more involved with what you have to do. So there's different balanced search trees out there, and we'll talk about a few of them. But ultimately, in order to maintain their balance, however they determine they're out of balance, they use some form of rotation similar to what we've seen here to resolve an unbalanced subtree. 